OP XP glitch on this one tick help from over here for your Bedrock 1.20. It works for the latest version and without wasting any time, I'm gonna dive right into this video. So as you can see, this is the kelp XP from over here. And uh, yeah, quite quite uh, self-explanatory, it's just doing its thing. But you may ask, but Jim, how is it XP farm? It's just a kelp farm. That's because this one has a one tick and it's gonna instantly, when I say instantly, it goes instantly. Now, how to get the XP? There you go, I have zero levels right now. And as you can see, it's it keeps on smelting. And once you have sufficient enough of kelp over here, all you gotta do is go ahead and flick this lever down and wait for one kelp to burn out. As you see, once you have one kelp over here, you're gonna take that kelp and you're gonna receive the XP over here. As you can see, you got one level. All the dried kelp from the chest gets added and so you just have to wait and AFK as long as you want. As this chest gets filled up with a lot of dried kelp, then you're gonna receive the XP for all of them included. Now, there's another lever here which is going to stop the entire farm. As you can see, it stops the farm and we have more kelp over here. You can also switch it on again as you can see it goes instantly so you're getting unlimited kelp as well and also some xps and you can also use these dried kelp as a fuel source as well you can just go ahead and uh put this over here so you can oh okay you gotta actually uh craft it in a crafting table all the way over here and see uh what is that called dried kelp block now dried kelp blocks can be used as a very good source instead of coal as a fuel there you go you can now use dried kelp block as a fuel so you can just go ahead and keep on repeating it so you're getting unlimited infinite xp glitch just like that so now i'm gonna show you how you can build this farm now these are all the materials you require to build these kelp xp farm go ahead and grab them and let's start building it now to start off with it's very easy you're gonna go ahead and place a t kind of block just like this and you want to go ahead and remove the middle block over there you got you're going to do is you're going to keep a repeater right over here a redstone dust i mean a redstone torch yeah and then one more redstone dust over here there we have our ticking clock now you're going to grab your levers and place a lever right here and make sure you switch this one tick off there you go once you've done with that the next step you're going to do is place a block over here and now you're going to place a sticky piston that's going to just go ahead and trigger and come out you're going to place a block then place a sand over here and you want to place another sand right over there now you can go ahead and close this over here and just like that is exactly what you want to close and you can also go ahead and add some blocks over here so it is entirely covered just like that now you don't have to close this block this needs to be empty for the glitch to work so once you've added those and you're gonna go ahead and add another layer of platform and it's raining the next steps you want to do is grab a normal piston and keep your normal piston right over there and you're going to extend the sides exactly like this once you've done this you want to do the final top layer which is going to be some more blocks like that and now you're going to go ahead and grab one slab and one trap door you're going to keep a slab first then go ahead and keep your trap door just like that this is very very important make sure you do this and now we're going to go ahead and close it just like this and extend it all the way down now the next steps is to go ahead and add some furnace and some chest and some hoppers you're gonna place a furnace right there and then a hopper going to that furnace where all the kelp that gets triggered over here by the piston will fall to the hopper next you're gonna place a chest right below not there you're gonna place a chest over here and then right below the furnace you're gonna place a hopper going to that chest now the next step is to add a lever on the furnace as well and make sure you fill the furnace with coal you only need very less coal to be honest in the beginning because you are going to get a lot of dried kelp later so i'm just gonna go ahead and get some around uh, 25 maybe there you're gonna put some 25 over there now the next steps you want to do is go ahead and grab these two glass panes that you have and you're gonna cover this up like that and then you want to go ahead and open this trap door you're gonna place the water on that slab and place your kelp on that sand over there and close this up now, the final steps is the redstone to activate the entire system now you're gonna come back over here grab some blocks and some dust and some torch you're gonna place a block over there and another block over here and another block over here and one more block over there now now, redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone dust, dust, and dust. There you go. You are now done with the redstone part. And guess what? You're done with the entire farm. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>
I'm gonna show you that it works. Also, make sure, make sure, one important thing, make sure you don't build the farm in between two chunks. That's gonna make a problem with the one tick and it's not going to work. Now, all you gotta do is go ahead and flick the lever and bam, look at that. Help coming every single second. That's not even every single second, that's 0.5 seconds, that's 0.5 seconds. That's how OP all my farms are. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video if it was helpful and make sure you collect a lot of XP's by this farm and comment down below if it worked. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my Minecraft survival episodes as well. Link in the description or in the end screen.